We can bring together highly skilled surgeons along with great medical doctors and that partnership and working together to make a child better is what I think really makes the Kamansky Center a very special place. Seeing your child in pain has got to be the worst thing out there. Last spring Luke started getting sick. He was ultimately diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. Luke was very healthy and this came as a complete shock. We spent the summer trying to get him better. He took a whole different regimen of pills, sometimes 20 a day. Our doctor told us that Dr. Robin Sokolow was who we needed to see and really was the only person in New York to see in this field. All sort of colitis can from you know one week to a month later change its behavior and become quite aggressive. It really is very life-threatening so you have to have your antenna up knowing that at any moment it can change on a dime. And it came to a point that it became an emergent situation. So we had to take him to the operating room very late in the evening because his condition got progressively worse. For children who have ulcerative colitis, the surgical option is really to take out the entire colon. So it was pretty clear that because he was going in emergently, it was going to have to be a three-stage operation. So we're doing the second part of the surgery. We're going to reconstruct the small intestines to form a new rectum. And then once he gets better, he'll do the very last part of the surgery. Then everything will be connected back together, and that'll happen in about three months. We don't forget that children are just not GI tracts. They're a full human being who has to be thought about from an emotional point of view, from their family point of view. The one thing that maybe distinguishes our program from others is the fact that we never forget that on a day-to-day -day basis. We have complete confidence that Dr. Sokolo and Dr. Lee are going to get Luke back to doing things that a sixth grader should be doing and not worrying about pain and medicine and living his life to the fullest. I never forget for one moment how this has been devastating to them, devastating to their child, and what I want to do is I want to make their disease become something of the past. If I can give them back their childhood, then I've done my job. Dr. Sokolo is gonna do everything she can. She's gonna make sure that Luke comes out of this okay. It makes a difference to be around people who have their heart in their work. Our long-term goal is to allow these kids to grow up and live normal lives. That long-term vision requires the ability to be able to deal with all of the systems that are affected and then also think about the future. is really an important and essential element of the care we provide. Preeti was born in Bangalore, India. And she was born with cloacal anomaly. From birth till she was about two and a half years old, um, the doctors in India did four surgeries on her. From there, she was taken care of by missionaries of charity, Mother Teresa's place. Once they nursed her back to health, they then put her up for adoption. This particular orphanage was one that was established for children with such horrendous birth defects that these children were never expected to ever be adopted. When Shauna saw Preeti in this orphanage, she developed an immediate bond with her and fell in love with her. Shauna went back and went through all of the necessary steps to acquire Preeti's medical and surgical records, brought them back to the United States, and called my office to make an appointment to meet with me. He analyzed all the paperwork. He laid out everything we would be up against, what her whole anatomy looked like and what it should look like at the end. And he prepared us in every which way he possibly could. Preeti's birth defect uh, is a condition called a cloacal anomaly. It's an embryologic birth defect where the vagina, the rectum, and the bladder all come together into one structure and Preeti underwent several surgeries in India to try and correct that. The surgeries did save her life, but they also left her with significant anomalies of her anatomy, which would prevent her from having a normal functioning uh, life and a good quality of life. During the operation, we basically split her in half 
and separated all of the organ structures, the reproductive organ structures, the urinary tract structures, and the gastrointestinal structures, and then reconfigured those and repositioned those in a functional way. Part of what we're able to offer here at the Kamansky Center for Children's Health is a team approach. These complex surgeries, particularly children like Preethi, are often handled both by myself and the pediatric surgery team with Dr. Spigland. Everyone from A to Z was absolutely amazing, from the doctors to the nurses to the child life specialists. They went above and beyond their duties to make sure that she was happy and that she was getting the best care possible, and we absolutely love every single one of them. It was just amazing the turnaround that Preeti made. Her quality of life had totally changed because of what Shauna was able to do and her commitment to this child. It's important to me to have like the right doctors and the right surgeons so I can get back to my life. Back then, then I didn't feel like like normal little girl, so but now I do. So <laughs> we could not do what we do without philanthropy. New Yorkers are phenomenally generous people, but they expect something in return. They expect us to do a good job and that we're going to deliver and build an environment that provides great care for children.